Hey everyone, it's Heather Nichols for Tailored Expressions. Today I'm going to share with you how I created this adorable set of snowman shaker tags. The star of this project is the Snow Much Fun Dye and Clear Combo Set. The inks I'm using on my project are Pink Champagne, Mulled Wine, Pumpkin, Green Tea, Confetti Cake, Poppy Seed, and Nocturne Versafine Claire. I'm using Bitty Blender Brushes, Happy Medium Iridescent Glitter and a Sponge Dauber, Chocolate Truffle Liquid Water Color, Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink and a Water Brush for Splatters, Shaker Bubbles and the Bits and Pieces Frosty Fun Mix, Multi Medium Mat for a Liquid Adhesive, Eyelets and Eyelet Setting Tools, Burlap Twine, and I'm using the 8th inch hole punch on my crocodile. I'm starting things off by die cutting the pieces that I need for my tags. First up is the snowman bodies. I'm making three tags and I'll need a solid snowman shape for each one. Then I'll cut another snowman body for each tag, this time using the circle die in the set to create a frame on the bottom part of the snowman. Next I die cut the pieces I needed for the snowman snowman hats and scarves from red pepper, green tea, and poppy seed cardstock. I die cut the snowman noses from candy corn cardstock. I added a bit of shading to the die cut pieces for the hats, scarves, and noses. On the red pepper cardstock I used mulled wine ink. For the green tea cardstock I used green tea ink. For the poppy seed cardstock I used poppy seed ink. And on the candy corn cardstock I used pumpkin ink. I added splatters to the hats, scarves, and noses using Chocolate Truffle Liquid Watercolor, Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink, and a water brush. I picked up the color on my brush and then tapped the brush over my finger to add the splatters. Next, I used Confetti Cake Ink with my Bitty Blender Brush to add a bit of shading to the sides and bottom of the snowman body pieces. Adding this touch of blue to the white cardstock on your snowman body gives it a great chilly, frozen look. I used my Mini Misty to stamp faces on the snowman using the clear stamps from the set. Make sure you've got your foam insert in your Misty to accommodate the height of the clear stamps. There are three different facial expressions to choose from. I stamped my faces with Nocturne Versafine Claire ink, and then I added cheeks stamped with pink champagne ink. I added just a touch of sparkle to the snowman using the Happy Medium Iridescent Glitter. I used a sponge dauber to apply the Happy Medium to the left side of the snowman pieces. You'll want to let the Happy Medium dry completely. Once everything is dry, I am stamping the sentiments onto the solid snowman body piece so that it shows through the circle opening. I layered the two snowman body pieces together. Then I was able to line up my clear stamp right in that circle opening and I stamped it with Nocturne Versafine Claire ink. There are three fun sentiments to choose from in the set and you might have other sentiments in your collection that would fit perfectly in the opening. Now let's put the snowman body together with the shaker. I'm applying adhesive to the back of the snowman piece with the circle opening. Then I'll take the clear shaker bubble and I'll pop it right through the opening on the snowman piece. I'll remove the adhesive paper on the shaker bubble, and then I'll set that aside while I add just a little bit of shaker filling right on top of the sentiment on the solid snowman piece. Next, I adhered the snowman piece with the shaker bubble right over the top of the solid snowman piece, and now the shaker bits can move around in the shaker bubble. I did the same thing to put together the other two snowman shakers. Next, I added the noses, I added a hat to each of the snowmen, and I added the scarves. Because I'm making the snowman into tags, I want things a bit more sturdy, so I added another layer behind each hat on each snowman. I'm using the 1 8 inch hole punch on my crocodile to punch a hole at the top of each of the hats. Then off camera I used eyelet setting tools to add an eyelet to each of the holes. I added burlap twine to the top of each tag. Finally I took the larger snowflakes from the shaker mix and I adhered a few onto the snowman for a finishing touch. Here's a closer look at each of the tags that I created. These cute snowman shaker tags are going to be adorable tied onto gifts for the holidays. They would also work great as ornaments on a Christmas tree. You can find the supplies that I used to create these tags in the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com. Thank you so much for joining me today and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our crafty videos. Mm -hmm.